The construction of stone columns or vibro replacement stone columns is one of the methods available for forming deep foundation elements. It is a method now being used to increase the load bearing capacity of shallow foundations on soft clay layers. Stone column is a cylindrical, vertical shaft which is backfilled with compacted gravel or crushed rock. It is important that after the construction of stone columns, a fill material should always be placed over the ground surface and compacted before construction of the foundation. The vibroflotation technique can be used to produce a stone column by sinking the device, a probe with a built-in vibrator, backfilling the cavity with stone, and then raising and lowering the vibroflot while adding additional stone. The result is a densely compacted stone column of some depth with a diameter on the order of 0.5 to 0.75 meter. This technique may be used in cohesive soils and primarily intended to provide load-bearing members that extend through the weak soils. The stone column also acts as a vertical drain, thus helping to accelerate consolidation settlements. Vibroflotation is a technique for in-situ densification of thick layers of loose granular deposits. It was developed in Germany in the 1930s and now is frequently used throughout the world. The process involves the use of a vibroflot which is about 2 meters in length. This vibrating unit, attached to a follow-up pipe, has an eccentric weight inside it and can develop a centrifugal force. The weight enables the vibrating unit to vibrate horizontally. There are openings at the bottom and top of the vibrating unit for water jets to aid penetration and improve soil compaction. Construction of a stone column generally consists of a vibroflot, called the vibrating unit equipped with water jets, that is lowered into the ground, on a grid pattern, to make a circular hole that extends through the clay to firmer soil. The hole is then backfilled with imported gravel. The gravel in the hole is gradually compacted as the vibroflot is withdrawn. The gravel used for the stone column has sizes ranging from 6 to 40 millimeters. Stone columns usually have diameters of 0.5 to 0.75 meter and are spaced at about 1.5 to 3 meters center to center. The entire compaction process can be divided as follows. The jets at the bottom of the vibroflot is turned on, and the vibroflot is inserted into the ground. The water jet creates a quick sand condition in the soil, which allows the vibrating unit to sink. Granular material is poured into the top of the hole, the water from the lower jet is transferred to the jet at the top of the vibrating unit, this water carries the granular material down the hole. The vibrating unit is gradually raised in about 0.3 meter lifts and held vibrating for about 30 seconds at a time. This process compacts the soil to the desired density. Using vibro compaction to treat clay soils is brought about by columns of densely compacted coarse backfill. These stone columns employ the passive resistance of the soil thereby increasing its bearing capacity, reducing settlement, as well as improved resistance to liquefaction. Stone columns are also a means of reinforcing soil. A large proportion of any load imposed at the surface is initially borne by the stone columns, the remainder being carried by the soil. The distribution of the total load between the stone columns and the soil gradually adjusts until equilibrium conditions are reached.